guys so i'm doing kind of a different vlog today and i'm gonna vlog only one day and today is the day i'm gonna get my new tattoo whoop, whoop. i'm so excited and i thought i would vlog it because a lot of people always ask me questions regarding my tattoos and stuff which is in the back say hey look at this i got it is that why you bring it no i'll show it because i would read it okay. i will read so it i'll show you guys what it is when I actually get it done, but uh, actually, let me tell you what it is. It's gonna be three roses and a little small one, so it's gonna represent my siblings and I, and a little one for Michu because he's like my baby. And then, um, but people wanted me to get wanted me to get one of him, but like obviously we're not gonna do that. And what, what was what else I was gonna say? So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys kind of like a little bit of the process and stuff like that, and then maybe even how I take care of it. I'll probably show you the healing process as well. Just because, again, a lot of you guys always ask me, so I thought this would kind of be a different vlog. So let's go. I'm kind of nervous. I know it's gonna hurt, but according to my research, it should be like a moderate pain, not too much. Like the wrist area is a little bit more, and I know that that was like really bad. So you see yeah. what he's doing to me. I'm excited. Are you guys excited to spend five to six hours with me? Yes, I'm gonna put on so, Curse Child for Bibi. Five to six hours. I'm gonna put on Curse Child for Bibi. A one man play. I'm gonna play everybody. Have <laughs> fun, Bibi. Hey, we're here. We're playing. Hi. This is my sister. Say hi to the camera. Say hi, hi, hi. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm nervous now. I tell me who. Vlogging you. So, are you ready for the other half of your tattoo? Yes. Yes. So, how is it? Does it hurt more than before? Are you excited? Yep, I'm excited to see how it looks. Explaining it more. Just looks like a little blade going like this. Okay. How do you feel? Do you feel tired? Yeah. Very tired? Yeah. I think I think more. Oh. How is it now? It's good. They're on the second rose. Signing out. I left it in. Signing out. Actually, signing out. Almost done. Okay, so we just finished. So we, it took like about a little bit over three hours. And it was painful and not painful at the same time but i'll show you guys the tattoo like close up like it's close up after he healed them i'll tell you guys where it was painful and stuff like that but yeah overall it was a really good experience it wasn't as painful as i thought the most irritating part was just like having to sit in that one position for so long he did take a break for like five minutes during it but i just didn't want i just wanted to get it over with because i didn't really want to take a break but no now we're just gonna go shopping Okay, we just got home because we went out, so we're gonna take the sticker off. Mm. So excited. 
Okay, so unfortunately I didn't end up recording it when I was trying to record it. So here it is. This is the tattoo. It went down a little bit and yeah. So it's not really hurting right now. But let's see how it is in a few days. Hey guys, so this is my natural hair. But it's been exactly, I lied, it's been more than a week. The last time I filmed this little piece, it was a week. But I'm gonna like show you guys the part that I didn't originally have when it was exactly a week. And you guys will see like a little bit of like a lot of bit of my dead skin and stuff like that. So if you feel like kind of about that kind of stuff just skip forward a little bit I guess and I'm also going to show you guys how like it's like really flaking and all that stuff and as soon as I show you guys how it looks without the moisturizer and with the moisturizer and I'm pretty sure I talked a little bit in there too I will be right back to this clip and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about how the tattoo is doing and all that stuff so this is the tattoo as you guys can see it looks really disgusting all the dark parts right here are the parts that are still like on and haven't peeled yet and then the lighter parts like over here and stuff like that is all the actual tattoo how it's gonna look as you can see it looks really light so i don't know like if it's gonna stay like this i'm definitely gonna go and talk to him about it but hopefully he can help me because this is not <laughs> nice and it's really making me sad and when I actually put the cream on, it does make everything look a little bit darker. But I don't know if it's because my legs were like a little bit dry, as you can probably tell. Because I came out of the shower and haven't put the cream on yet. Or if it's just genuinely because it's dry. So I will definitely update you guys once it is fully peeled, as I did mention. But overall, I really, really do love the design. And yeah. So originally in when I first told you guys in the first week like it was healing perfectly fine I really didn't have any pain like when someone like really just like touched it or poked it Of course it would hurt because it was sore and stuff like that I'm gonna show you guys the moisturizer kind of thing that I used which my tattoo artist actually recommended for me So give me a sec so this is the moisturizer. It is called Weber E. So it's just supposed to be pure um, vitamin E. It says that it is 100% natural source vitamin E. So it's supposed to be really good for like wounds and stuff like that to heal and stuff like that. And it really did heal. So originally when I used it, I was using it like a lot, but I realized on the box it said only twice, so I'll use it two times a day. And then what else do I have to tell you guys? Okay, so let's talk about the pain. The pain was like pretty good. Um, certain parts wasn't really bad. It was just more like a dragging of like literally how you think dragging like a blade or a needle across your skin would feel. That's how it feels. I personally have a lot of pain tolerance. I don't really like feel pain too much or maybe... I personally believe that it's all in the mind. If you tell yourself it doesn't hurt most of the times, it won't hurt. That's just like my personal belief, it's all in the mind. So I just kind of was just chilling there, to be honest. I was more irritated about how long it took. So it took three hours, three hours and something. So a little bit over three hours. So that's the part that was really annoying to me. And at the same time, like every time like he like drew it and then you know when they like rub away the ink to do it again, that part was so irritating. <laughs> It, the, I, I hated the feeling. It was such a like a, oh, you know those feelings that make your like teeth tingle. Like it was like one of those like drawing your nails on the chalkboard kind of like scratching your nails on a chalkboard kind of feeling. I hated it. That was horrible. And the second rose, which you guys will see or probably saw when I did show you guys it, that second rose really hurt. I don't know why. Like, cause, and it's a little bit more on my thigh too, which is weird because I thought that would hurt less, but it actually hurt way more. And according to my research, it said that the actual like tracing carving out of tracing of the tattoo will hurt more than the shading itself and that was true that was definitely true except for the second flower like everything killed i felt like the shading actually hurt a little bit more for them sorry i keep looking at myself sorry i know a lot of you guys hate that but i apologize and i, I wrote down a little bit of stuff to talk to you guys about which i thought you guys might want to know so give me a sec according to my notes i talked to you guys about everything i did want to talk about so i'm sorry if this little ending was a little bit confusing for you guys but basically i showed you guys like how it was within a week now it's like perfectly healed mainly everything is kind of peeled off and stuff like that and as i showed you guys in the part where i felt like it was fading away it actually didn't fade away as long as i moisturize it looks good so 
I showed you guys that clip, initial clip before I did moisturize my legs, of course, because they just came out of the shower. And yeah, that's about it. As for the price, um, I don't know if I want to mention it. I don't think it's really relevant because like your tattoo is going to be different prices based on how like large it is, how small it is, detail, color, and all that stuff. And the person I went to was, he was awesome. I don't know his name, but the place was called Tiger K Tattoos. It is here in Toronto, St. Clair and something near the Bluffs-ish area. He doesn't have an Instagram or a Facebook. No, he has a Facebook, so it's just search up Tiger K. He was super sanitary and all that stuff, and like he wasn't really talkative and stuff, which I don't mind. Like I didn't think he needed to be, but he was really nice, super sanitary. Like he actually showed me the needles that were like packaged and all that stuff. In the previous places I've gotten tattoos, they did not do that, so that makes me a little a little doubtful of them. But he was super sanitary and stuff like that. And he was super duper nice. He like literally just went, like keep kept going. And like he said, I could take a break if I wanted to. I just wanted to get it over with, so I didn't. But he did take a five minute break as well. But he was just like super nice. It was a really good experience. The price I think was reasonable as well. And the healing process was amazing as well. So that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, I haven't posted a beauty video yet because I'm trying to work on my lighting. Because as you can see, I'm standing next to my window right now in order to get good lighting. So. I just ordered a bunch of new lighting, background, and stuff like that. So as soon as that comes, I will start making regular videos. I was just not satisfied with how it looked. So I did not want to do them. And that's about it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.